The first step in lost wax casting is to turn ideas and sketches into three-dimensional form by carving them into wax. This original wax carved piece of jewelry is called the master. It is molded in a silicone type mold. From that mold, duplicates of the master can be reproduced. Now that multiple wax versions of the original master can be duplicated, several can be attached to a core or sprue to create what looks like a tree. The wax pieces of jewelry are the leaves, the sprue or the branches all attached to a main core-like trunk that is affixed to a rubber base called a boot. Once the tree of wax pieces is created, it is encased in a flask, a hollow cylinder shaped metal case open at both ends. The flask is slipped over the tree and nestles airtight into the rubber boot. A plaster-like mold material called investment is poured into the top of the flask. This material hardens to make a solid shell around the wax tree. The invested mold is left to harden. Once it is fully hardened, the rubber boot is removed. The flask is placed upside down into a kiln to burn out the wax tree inside. This is the lost wax part where a void is created for pouring in the molten metal. Once the mold heats up to a high temperature, the molten metal is poured into the hole left by the center sprue or trunk. From there, the rest of the tree is filled with molten metal. Once the molten metal cools and hardens, the mold is dunked into water to help dissolve the investment. This reveals a metal version of the once wax tree. The jewelry is finally in metal form. The jewelry is clipped from the main sprue and tumbled with abrasive media to remove any investment residue as well as start to smooth rough edges. From there, the jewelry is buffed and shined and sent to quality control. Once approved, the piece is ready for its new home.